Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Welcome to r slash am I the butthole, where we get to decide if someone was right, if they were wrong, or if they're somewhere in between. So with that said, let's get straight into this first post by user slash prestigious taco. My sister, 20 female, and I, 24 male, have never gotten along. Her mum and my dad got married when we were 6 and 10, so we've known each other for a long time. In my stepmom's eyes, she could do no wrong, and anything bad that happened was pinned on me. My dad is a complete pushover, so he would always fall over to whatever my stepmom would say. When I was about 15, I started gaining weight. My girlfriend broke up with me, woohoo, high school romance. I started failing some of my classes, and I quit baseball. I started to stress eat and ballooned up from 125 pounds to 162. I guess at this point, she decided she was cooler than I was and started mocking me and making fun of me, calling me names like Fatty and Chubster. I would constantly go to my stepmom about it, and she would tell me, she's just teasing, she's so much younger, why are you getting upset? I got mad to the point where I just started avoiding her and locking myself upstairs in my room with a bag of chips. At 22, I hit 270 pounds and I knew I had gone too far. I was way past my weight limit and bordering on obese. So as a new year's resolution, I decided to start losing weight. I cut out all junk food and started hitting the gym. Around this time, my stepsister started to overeat too. I don't really know why, but she gained over 30 pounds. She still was constantly belittling me about my weight, which admittedly was way over hers. By the end of this year, I lost 120 pounds. I felt amazing. My stepsister now weighed more than me. Over Christmas dinner, all the aunts and uncles and cousins were complimenting me on my weight loss, telling me how I looked so much better. My sister just sat there smoldering. Every time someone said something, she'd add, He's still pretty big. Well, he didn't get rid of that face roundness. Maybe lose a little more around that gut. It was infuriating, and I was getting angrier. Now here's where I might be the butthole. Finally, at her last little snide. Look, you know you'll just put it all back on. Why do you even bother? I flipped out. I yelled, why can't you just be happy for me instead of getting on me for every little thing? She said back to me, Defensive much? Oh, I'm sorry, did I hurt your 200 pound feelings? I probably should have stopped there, but I kept going. Calling me a fatty, look at your plate, you've eaten half the table you fatty. She started crying and left the table. My stepmom screamed at me, saying just because I was insecure, I can't take it out on everyone. I said, oh, so now you're talking? Not in the past 10 years of constant fatty and porker. But you're way older, she whined. I left the table too and went home. I woke up today to a thousand messages from my stepmom, my dad, and my stepsister. They were saying I wasn't welcome to their house until I apologized. I'm not going to. Look, here when I toss up the two sides, you literally saying one thing to your sister versus your sister harassing you for 10 years, I've got to give you not the butthole. And honestly, great work OP for losing all that weight. It's really, really difficult, so good on you. And as for that stupid judgement of 4 years being a huge age difference, maybe it is when you're 4 and 8 years old or 6 and 10, but by the time you're 18 and 22, you're both adults and that is the most stupid argument you can make. And our next potential butthole is user slash throwaway TLMWR. Hi Reddit, this situation is getting out of hand, so I thought I'd ask here. I, 25 male, have dated my girlfriend, 25 female, for 6 years now. About 5 months into our relationship, I got her pregnant. This is in spite of the fact that I wore protection. We were only 19, so I thought she'd come to her senses and decide to abort. However, she slowly began to warm to the idea of keeping the child and raising it. I tried very hard to show her the other side. My parents contacted her to voice their disapproval of keeping the baby, but this didn't sway her. So then I contacted her parents and they sided with me. This swayed my girlfriend a bit more. 
Ultimately, it was only when I told her that I would leave her if she kept the baby that she agreed. Now this wasn't me abandoning responsibility, but rather it was me stating my boundaries. If she wanted to bring a kid into our lives, then I would walk away. I'd pay whatever support was necessary, but she would be making a decision that alienated lots of people. It wasn't just about her. We have stayed together since, however, these past few months, she has been acting different. She starts bringing up this abortion and asking why I was so against it. Then, the other day she goes crazy. She asks me why I didn't support her and that it was a mistake to have an abortion. I then remind her, it was your decision to have an abortion. We all said our piece, but don't blame this on anyone else. You chose this. She then began crying a lot and called me a butthole. We haven't spoken since, and her friends have taken her side. Ultimately, I think she's trying the blame game. Am I the butthole? Alright, so let me get these facts straight. So let's say you, you did the deed, you planted the seed, and you created this baby. Then you didn't want this baby. So you called your parents, and they tried to convince your girlfriend that she shouldn't want the baby either. Then you called her parents and convinced them that she should get rid of the baby and they tried to convince your girlfriend that she should get rid of the baby and then you just said i'm just gonna leave if you're gonna have the baby this sounds to me like you literally bullied your girlfriend into having an abortion and i'm not saying it's bad not to want kids but i'm just saying that your girlfriend couldn't have really gotten pregnant on her own so the responsibility here really has to be shared and here's our next post by user slash throwaway grinley I, 40 male, was called into my daughter's 17 female school and essentially told me that my daughter had been bullying another girl for quite some time. She had been verbally tormenting her for two years and the evidence was provided. My heart sank. I had realized that I'd failed as a parent. I discussed with my wife, 40 female, on what to do and we agreed that we were to ground her so that she would not be going to any parties for the rest of the year, nor would she be able to go to prom later in the year. When we confronted our daughter, she tried to defend her actions as just being a harmless joke, but we weren't having it and told her. She reacted poorly and broke down in tears. She said it's her final year of high school. Again, we stood by our decision. She lashed out at us, calling us buttholes. She's also complaining to us that we still allow our son, 15 male, to go to parties. So we explained to her that he hasn't bullied anyone that we know of, and if we were to be revealed that he did, then we would give him a similarly strict punishment. It really does feel like she's trying to guilt trip us. She's been a complete mess. I went over to the parents of the bullied girl's house to personally apologize for all this. I hope we can make things right with her. My parents, in their 70s, think we're being too harsh on our daughter for completely banning her from all parties and prom, and agreed that we're wrong about it. Am I the butthole here? Alright, now I will be stealing from the comments a little in my judgement, but basically, OP is not the butthole. As a dad, it is his responsibility to raise the best person possible. And bullying is no light matter, so the punishment needs to be fairly serious. But at the same time, I think there should be room for his daughter to make things right, possibly including actually apologizing to the girl or doing some sort of volunteer work and eventually getting her rights back, and maybe being allowed to go to prom at the end of the year if she adheres to all the rules set out by her parents. But at the same time, not the butthole OP, I think you're doing the right thing. Our next potential butthole is brought to us by user slash xhexxhexx. My ex Josh and I have a five-year-old son, Alex. We split when Alex was a year old and we decided I'd have primary custody because he moved in with a bunch of roommates, but he asked to have Alex every other weekend. Well, Josh paid child support, but he kept making excuses every weekend as to why he couldn't have Alex overnight. Roommates having a party, his friend needed help moving, roommates having guests, his sister was in town, and etc. And after the first six months or so, I just stopped bugging him about it. And he just stopped even making excuses. He didn't see Alex at all from ages two to four. Last year, his roommate situation changed. He distanced himself from his toxic friend group and his parents were putting pressure on him. So Josh asked if he could have Alex for one weekend a month. After setting up some playdates to make sure Alex was comfortable with him, since he was basically a stranger at this point, 
we went ahead with that plan. And it's been great. Alex loves his dad and they have a great time together. And Josh expressed interest in having him over more weekends now. It's also been nice to have some time off being a single mum. Great, good news. Except I'm not a big social media person. But I checked Facebook in December and noticed that Josh has been posting a lot of pictures of Alex over the last year. And he never indicated that Alex was his son. He keeps calling him his friend or his little buddy. Someone even asked who Alex was and he said, he's my little bud. Something about this rubbed me the wrong way. I feel I've been incredibly chill about this process, maybe more so than I should have. But the fact that he isn't even claiming Alex as his son is really trashy. I was worried he wasn't even telling his friends that was his kid. So next time he posted Alex, I commented basically saying, I'm glad Alex is having a great time with his dad. And proved my hypothesis. Everyone was like, you have a kid? This is your kid? You never mentioned having a kid. Josh was furious at me deleted the post when he saw it and basically said it's his business to tell his friends and social circle about his life. My sister also said I was being petty, but she said I have an excuse because he's been so absent. Was it a butthole move to out him like this? And OP adds some what I think is important information in the comments, so for reference they are 28 and 29. Our son was planned. He wasn't an oops baby that Josh didn't want or didn't know was coming. I think people saying that he needs time to get used to being a father should keep that in mind. Also, he and Alex have now been spending weekends together alone since last July, and had been hanging out with me present since April last year. If the timeline wasn't clear, this isn't the first few weeks of their reacquaintance. Alright, let me get this out of the way, not for butthole OP, but that's so weird. Why would Josh not reveal that Alex was his son? I personally would find it fairly weird if I found on my Facebook feed on a regular basis some guy posting about hanging out with some random kid. I mean to me it just it just feels feels weird. Alright everyone that's it from me for today. I hope you enjoyed this little video as much as I did. And if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel for Reddit videos every second day. But with that said that is it from me. I hope you all enjoyed, and all I want to do is see you all here next time. See you later, guys.